Well, in this section of the lectures, we are going to build crude REST APIs for employee management model. So basically, we are going to build add employee, get employee, get all employees, update employee and delete employee REST APIs. We'll use Java 17, Spring Boot 3. Well, Spring Boot 3 requires a minimum Java version 17. That's why we are going to use Java 17 in this course. But you can use Java 17 or 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. So just remember. Spring Boot 3 requires minimum Java version 17 and you can use any Java version above Java 17. Okay. Next we will use Spring Data JPA it internal uses Hibernate 6. Next we will use MySQL database and we are going to use IntelliJ IDEA to develop the Spring Boot application. Next we will use Maven as a build tool and then we will use Postman client to test all the Spring Boot REST APIs. Well here are the development steps. First we will see Spring Boot application 3 layer architecture. Well, in our Spring Boot application, we are going to use 3 layer architecture to organize the code base. Next, we will create and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. Next, we will configure MySQL database in our Spring Boot application. Next, we will create employee JP entity and then we will create employee repository. Next, we will create employee DT1 and employee mapper. Next, we will build add employee REST API, get employee REST API, get all employees REST API, update employee REST API, and delete employee rest api well let's first take a look into what is three layer architecture the three layer architecture is a common architectural pattern used in spring boot applications to organize the code base and separate concerns it promotes modularization maintainability and scalability by dividing the application into three distinct layers presentation layer service layer and data access layer well in spring boot application Three layer architecture provides three distinct layers presentation layer, service layer, and data access layer. Next, this is how the three layer architecture looks in a Spring Boot applications. We have presentation layer, service layer, and data access object layer. Well, let us begin with presentation layer. Well, the presentation layer is also called controller layer or web layer. The presentation layer is responsible to process the incoming HTTP request that's sent by the client. Well, in Spring Boot application, the presentation layer is implemented by using Spring MUC controllers. The Spring MUC controllers are responsible to process the incoming HTTP request and process that request and send the response back to the client. Next, service layer. Well, the service layer basically contains the business logic of the application. In Spring Boot application, the service layer is implemented by creating spring managed beans by using at service annotation okay so basically the service layer contains business logic of the applications next we have a DAO layer DAO stands for data access object so DAO is basically design pattern that allows us to create a separate layer that encapsulates the database related logic and DAO layer is also called the persistence layer or the repository layer in a spring boot application we use Spring Data JPA or other ORM frameworks to implement the DAO layer or persistence layer. And this DAO layer is responsible to talk with the database. So, three layer architecture is one of the commonly used architecture patterns in a Spring Boot applications to organize the code base and separate the concerns. For example, whenever we create a Spring Boot application, we will create three packages with respect to three layers. For presentation layer, we create a controller package, and within a controller package, we keep all the Spring MUC controllers. Next, for service layer, we will create a service package and within that we keep all the interfaces and classes related to service package. Next, for DAO layer, we will create a repository package. Within that, we will keep all the Spring Data JPA repositories. Alright, so we will see how we can create the packaging structure with respect to 3-layer architecture in upcoming lectures. Alright, so this is all about using 3-layer architecture in a Spring Boot application. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.